the components required for this experiment are not mcu board not mcu breakout board lcd display i2c converter breadboard dst11 sensor bmb2280 sensor ldr sensor rain sensor connecting wires and connecting cable Now log into the Blink.Cloud website and go to Developer Zone. Here click on New Template and give the template name. Weather Monitoring System. And then select the hardware as ESP8266 and connection type as Wi-Fi and click on the Done button. Now go to Data Stream and here we need to create 5 data streams. Now create the first one, select New Data Stream and select the Virtual Pin. Here give the pin name as temperature. And select the pin number as V0 and data type as double, maximum value as 100 and select the unit as Celsius. If you want you can change the color. And click on the create button. Now create the second data stream. Here also select the virtual pin and enter the name as humidity and the pin number as V1, data type as double, change the color and maximum value as 100 and the unit is percentage and click on the create button. Now create the third one, again select the virtual pin and the variable name is pressure. And here select the pin as V2 and data type as double and select the maximum value as 1,50,000 and select the unit as Pascal and click on the create button. Now create the fourth variable, select the virtual pin and the variable name is rain and the pin number is V3, change the color and the maximum value is 200 and click on the create button. Now the final one which is for light. Here also select the virtual pin and enter the variable name as light and select the pin number as V4 and data type as integer. And now click on the create button. Now go to web dashboard and here we need to drag 4 gauge widgets and 1 LED widget. and then drag the LED widget. 
Now go to the settings of the first gauge and here select the data stream as temperature and click on the create button and click on the save button. Now go to the settings of the second gauge. Here you need to select humidity and click on the save button and now go to the settings of the third gauge. Here we need to select pressure. Here also click the save button. Now go to the settings of the fourth one. Here we need to select rain. And then click on the save button and now go to the LED widget. Here also go to settings and here select light. Again click the save button. Now here we need to save the template. Now go to devices, click on new device and then select from template. Here we can see the template which we created, weather monitoring system. Select that and click on the create button. Now we got the template ID, template name and authentication token. Copy this and paste in our program. And then enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password. Also you need to install these libraries. Now we need to upload the program. So for that go to this drop down. Here click on this edit button. Here we need to select the board. So I am using Node MC 1.0 which is already selected. And then we need to select the port. And now click on the OK button. Now click this arrow button and upload the program to the Node MCU board. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the Node MCU board. Now we can set up the Blink mobile dashboard. For that, download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store. Now once you open the application, you can see the template which we created from the Blink web dashboard. Now click on the template weather monitoring system. Here click, click the settings icon. And then click the plus button from the bottom. And here also we need to add 4 gauge widgets and 1 LED widget. Now click on the first gauge. Here select the data stream as temperature. Now go to design, here enter the title as temperature. Here also if you want you can change the color. Now go back, now click the second gauge, here choose the data stream as humidity and go to design and here we need to enter the title as humidity. Here also we can change the color if needed. Now go back and select the third gauge. Here choose the data stream as pressure. Go to design and enter the title as pressure. Now go back and now select the fourth gauge. Here we need to select the data stream as rain. And here also we need to go to design and enter the title as rain. Now select the settings of this LED widget. And here we need to choose the data stream as light. And here go to design. Here we can enter light. Now go back and again click the back button. Now the setup is completed and now we can check the output.